<laughs> but it was good, since you asked. Uh, uh, bypass the White Castle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah don't. But it's, are don't there a lot of it. options just right around in this area? I feel like I we're kind of a little spot and it's like, you got your choice between a couple of things over here. You know nothing? I know. You can help me once more. I'm also nervous about where Tilly's and DJ Reddy's supposed to be. Like a, a bar? A bar? A I know, as we were driving through, I was watching it go. I don't know. Bar. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, if we were just right there, just like if we were just right there underneath the arch, or that's something I want to do. That may be so cheesy for you guys, and it's like, but that is exactly what a Texan wants to go to. Yeah. Is that, and then go down that 10 story slide again in um, the <laughs> City Museum? Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I think it was called City Park, City Museum. Awesome place. Get some mm. Ted Drews before you leave. What was that? Ted Drews is the concrete ice cream and it's amazing. Concrete? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's called, uh, so it's like a thicker, thicker ice, ice cream. Thicker ice cream. It's called so concrete. It's called concrete, but you can get like so good. Oreo and it's so good. Thicker? Yeah. What does that even mean? You gotta try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very thick. Yeah. yeah. It's real good. It's concrete. made with okay, like. Like ice cream has a certain consistency. Frozen yogurt has a very different consistency. Gelato is almost like ice cream. Thicker? It's made more with cream instead of just milk. Yeah. Oh, so it's yeah. higher percentage of butter fat inside? Yeah. yeah. I'm there. <laughs> So good. Is that white? Because it's basically frozen butter. Yeah. Okay. Sure. It's a little With sugar, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> sugar and cookies. A little flavoring put off on it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that is so good. Is there a Baskin Robbins? No. I don't know. Well, talking about ice cream now, I want yeah. some. <laughs> we have to get some ice cream tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't see it over there in the little Aww. snack bar. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get you so much. That doesn't help. Midnight run. I'll sneak some. <laughs> That's an inconvenient Uber when I'm supposed to be doing something else. <laughs> I'm here for a job. Ambassador of the crime. You never asked your official question to have been third in line. So I'm just saying. I'm blanking. Alicia, okay. go ahead. No! Yes! Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Um, Next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, Drew and I can do it. I was going to say, we can, we can do it. <laughs> we'll do it. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> These guys are actually taking notes somewhere. So yeah. I guess I'll. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm a published author and I'm starting to get into. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm starting to get into audiobooks. Have you ever done any audiobooks? I have auditioned for audiobooks and okay. auditioned for audiobooks and auditioned for audiobooks. My problem is consistently. Consistency. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's like just being able to go through all of that. Quite honestly, I that is lovely. I like going in, getting something done, and getting out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious if your process, if, if you're interested. Well, yeah, because it's, that's duration. Yeah, it is. And you mm -hmm. have to be kind of built for that. Mm -hmm. and let me just tell you, you know, there's some people that cannot match flaps. There are right. Dallas actors. Right. So in Texas, Dallas is the city where you come if you want to work on stage. So mm -hmm. kids who are like growing up in Lubbock, these cities may not mean anything to you. Houston, San Antonio, Austin are bigger cities. They, they come to Dallas because that's the market where you can get a lot of work on stage. And it's not just because there's Crunchyroll right there. The film, you go to Austin. So even though it's like a three hour drive from Dallas, our agents will have us drive all the way down there or Oklahoma City or Houston just for an on-camera audition. Okay. I should call her that. That was definitely pre-COVID um, because we all had to learn the hard way how to uh, self-tape, mm -hmm. which is sure. not so easy. Maybe if you're like a gifted Instagrammer or something, <laughs> which I am not. <laughs> I was just having a Twitter lesson in there. I said, I don't tweet, I pretty much plug. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's accurate. That's, um, that's, I would just said, I'm still trying to figure out my space. <laughs> oh, <laughs> goodness. That was a, kind of an app that they had a long time ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, tell the young ones. Tell the young ones. Back ones. when there was AOL. <laughs> <laughs> MSN Messenger. Do you still have an account? Oh, no. Somewhere. I have one, I can't log in. I still have a MySpace account. Well, my parents have AOL, so. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I 
I have a question now. Yeah. yeah. So what, what, what about um, theater and voice acting got, like, what, what, what interested you about, like, doing those things? Well, growing up, I was a real big fan as a kid of um, the early 70s of a show that was called The Carol Burnett Show. Mm -hmm. Carol Burnett at all? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Famous, yep, I mean, yeah. he's older. Um, and just watching that and kind of how they did it, it was presented as if it were on stage, you know, because yeah. they were there mm -hmm. in front of a studio audience, but it wasn't like it was a, a studio with four walls. I mean, it was really kind of a two-dimensional little scene right there. And so it was kind of familiar, you know, I had like done like a little school play at that point and thought that was really awesome. Um, but that's what turned me on to it. And then also the Mouseketeers, uh, not the 50s version, but the new color version mm -hmm. with those kids. And oh, it just, it, it hurt that I wasn't doing that too. Aww. It looked like exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and your bow makes me think of Minnie Mouse. And so I just, <laughs> Dream. It, it, it Dream. Me, I remember that feeling of just longing that like, what was I gonna do in this little teeny town? Um, that didn't even pronounce its name the way it was spelled. It's it's spelled Cooper, but we said it's Cooper, you know, because it's just how you talk in North Texas. Um, man, so it was like I think it was those TVs. Oh, and old musicals. Gene mm -hmm. Kelly. Yes, yes. That's my idol. Perfection. I even tried taking a tap class. I did not have the ankles for that. <laughs> you got to be built right for that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I went in with that kind of a dream. And then um, I, I, but I wasn't in any kind of official play till I was like a sophomore in high school. I was going to go to med school. Oh, that was going to be my trajectory. I, I wanted to be a physician. I wanted to be like a little country doctor, actually. Um, <laughs> but um, uh, I got in a play. I was convinced by one of my teachers to audition for what's called One Act. I'm sure you know what that is. Um, and I did. I had two lines. It was Cyrano de Bergerac, and I got a prize. I got what's called an honorable mention. And I, they called my name. I, I didn't know what happened. And I'm like, Kat, you go up, you get the trophy, you got something, you won. And, um, and, and that, that turned me around real fast, you know, to go up there, to turn around, <laughs> to see that audience and they're looking at you and clapping for you. And it was just like everything I never knew that I wanted. And it was over by then. Yeah. You know, and then, I, then, so then my junior year, I got into theater and did like the, the, the tournaments and stuff like that. Y'all have like state tournaments that you can, like, I'm looking over here because she's the teacher. These are the teachers. Hi. Yeah. We have a couple Hi. teachers. <laughs> okay, but did you compete or anything like that? No. Okay. Because theater competition is very different from like okay. sports competition. Becca, yes, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Is that a cold one? That's one of those cold baby waters. Yep. I do. I have no water. Cold babies in the best. Cold babies. Cold baby. and I already forgot it. There's a question that You're I talking about drama about. competitions. Yeah, yeah. we were talking about what that. Was I saying? How you I got, you, how you got into you. voice acting? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, it just kind of turned on slowly. I was still, by <coughs> February of my 